Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this week's show. I'm your host for this evening, Sean Sational, and I'm joined here by Todd Riffick. Tonight's topic is Star Wars Episode Nine. Star predictions. Wars. Star, Star Wars, Wars. Episode Nine know, predictions. We did like seven takes of Star Trek, he, and Star Pirates, and everything else, but Star Wars. Because he kept trying to say other stars and stuff. I almost said Star Wars. Yeah, he did. But that's from Zack and Mary make a porn. Dude, that, you, I'm you, not. You story. were like. On a roll with like that's all I do. I stuff. roll, like roll, 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 especially roll, roll, when you were roll. talking about the Captain Marvel thing. I'm gonna keep bringing it up. <coughs> the show. We ain't never showing that. <laughs> never showing that. We want to keep our 38 subscribers. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! It's probably like 200 right now. It's gonna get up there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, who knows? Please subscribe. subscribe. Please, please. <laughs> Your prediction. Prediction. This is what I. Predict. The rise of Skywalker. The rise of Skywalker. When I first saw the title, I was kind of like confused. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, wait a minute. Are we supposed to end it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he die in the last one? <laughs> I mean, is she the daughter of the Skywalker? Like, possible. But did I hope he, not because. It, but didn't but see they messed everybody's up. Everybody's gonna be a Skywalker in this huge right? galaxy. Like, oh yeah, everybody's a Skywalker. Oh, he had a son <coughs> here. He had a daughter here. He had a whatever. He gets around. He got he got around. But what, what you when you when you're looking at the rise of Skywalker, what do you think the rise of Skywalker is when he was teaching everyone when he had his own little temple teaching all the kids and stuff like that? Like that would be the rise. That yeah. would be the house of a sky if you want to call it yeah. that. That the would be like of, episode six point five. Right. Right. That, so they kind of like to me it's all like, oh you shouldn't use that title. But who knows? There's probably something else that uh, that's going on there. And Mark Hamill actually, you know tweeted about the, his reaction he broke the silence and yeah she said good things about it and so there's definitely something hidden there that we don't know about what i really liked about the, the whole thing getting into my prediction is thank you what gave me goosebumps at the end of the the trailer <laughs> was that the laugh at the end of the thing if anything else out of that whole sean i'm trying to get my prediction you're i like, can feel your anger if it gives you focus. If I ever get to my prediction, hurry up! Will you keep it's, interrupting? It's obviously Emperor Palpatine. Oh, Alright, got Palpatine. it. All right. It has to do with something with Emperor Palpatine. That was the only part of the whole trailer that gave me goosebumps. I wasn't really excited when I saw it until the laugh. When I heard that laugh, I was like, yes! He's coming back for this one. He should come back for this one. Because he only got thrown off the, the thing, you didn't see if he landed on something or if he caught himself. Yeah. What happened? You, you <laughs> I love, I love he, doesn't, he doesn't stop shooting lightning yeah. as he's going up. Yeah. <laughs> so if he's like, shooting dude, lightning this way, lightning. halfway down, he probably figured out, well, maybe if I shoot lightning this way, it'll slow my descent. You know what After I mean? what happened to Darth Maul and Phantom Menace, he can survive. You're right. <laughs> the guy got cut in half falling and he still survived. And he, he came back, yeah, in the cartoons and stuff like that. And, 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 and Solo. And, and Solo. Spoiler alert. Yeah. If you haven't watched that, you're dumb. But... So I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking that he's coming back some way, somehow, and I it, that right there would save the movie for me, just enough for me to enjoy watching. Sean, I can see him with his what is that gun? Arthritis. Arthritis. Oh, jeez, <laughs> coming way extreme on that one. I was like, whoa, dude. <laughs> jeez, I'm well, just you saying. were doing the thing, man. <laughs> Yo, feeble skills are no match for the. It looked like he was Don't typing too much, huh? He's like, like I would my fingers. fingers. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> but I was hitting the S too much. <coughs> the worst is when Yoda, the most wisest, right, of oh. all Jedi Masters. Fuck, is like 900 years, 800 years old or something. Yeah. <laughs> he said his, your arrogance. And he's, he's raising in, in Revenge of the Sith <laughs> his hands so slowly. And it's like, if I was like, mm, weird, this is two, fi two hands coming up ten fingers strong. I wonder what... <laughs> get shot. I was like, dude, seriously, once I see this hat's coming up, I'm like, oh shit. But isn't that, isn't that like his thing though? Like in every Star Wars that he was in, he shot the light, was probably mostly Return of the Jedi. Uh, you know, his hands <laughs> raised up so many times very yeah. slow. Your face is anyway, but yeah. So you want to see Palpatine, I, I, you're happy to see I, it. I'm happy that he's coming back. We finally get to know, I didn't, I, that question loomed over me for so many years. Like, did he really die? Especially when we saw the Darth Maul thing and then he came back. You know, the thing that I thought maybe he could have died was because the thing blew up. Like yeah, when he hit the freaking engine, the electricity blew him up. But look at this way. He could have got pushed out in the space. 
like, oh, and that's, and that's what someone told me. Well, he got pushed out into space, so he did, can't can't die. Well, that thing just totally went out the window when With Princess Leia. Leia. Princess yeah. Leia just wakes up and like, oh, I'm in space. And Mary Poppins. <laughs> I was like, bro, and what is that? And it floats right in. Like, so uh, that was atrocious. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, prediction: Palpatine's coming back. He has been behind the whole thing the whole time. He has never stopped pulling the strings. That's my prediction. That's pretty cool. And you know, jumping upon that, jumping upon what he's saying, you know what would be interesting is that the the funny thing is I think it's Chris Terrio because J.J. Abrams had to call in a writer to help him write it because uh, what's his name? The one that did The Last Jedi? Oh, I forget yeah. the director. He just, he just took his shit and just ripped it up and threw it away. It's like, hey, this is what happened to this last one. Because he had an outline. For him to call in somebody to write it means that... He, Literally, the last, I think, Johnson, right? Yeah. Something like something, that. Something. I mean, I can look it up. Something, yeah. Anyway, he threw everything away. So, he changed everything. So, it was pretty tough. Uh, um, I can imagine, like, dude, you ruined everything. You know, I, I, the rumors were that even um, Ray was supposed to have a different <laughs> right. parents and so forth. So, I can imagine, he's like, how am I going to fix this shit? You know? And he had to bring in Chris Terrell. But... If you have to use The Last Jedi, and, and as much as I can't stand that movie, you're going to have to base it off of that. You, you just have can't, to. Yeah, you just can't you be like, to. you know, if, you know what be funny is that Luke didn't die, none of Episode 7 ever happened, and it yeah. just continues on forever, so. Well, if you see, if you see. But like, technically, you can. You yeah. can, because that's what they did with the New Hope. <coughs> I mean, Episode 8. What was it? Was it know. Empire Strikes Back or New Hope? What, when Princess Leia kissed... Uh, Luke Skywalker. Mm-hmm. Well, she, well, technically, he, they she didn't, didn't know. know well, was, well, we sister. didn't know they were brother and sister. And I bet you a hundred dollars that they didn't even know they were gonna make a brother sister. Yeah, they didn't. George Lucas not into Return of the Jedi, right? Because he didn't have enough time to. So do, I bet you we're gonna get a re- we're gonna get a Return of the Jedi where something's <clears> gonna get tweaked to where yeah. like, well, oh, this could have happened. Well, what story. happened is you you look at Luke, right? Which I thought was a dumb way to die is that yeah. projection, yeah. The force projection. Well, since now they have that. In canon, I guess. Yeah. That would make sense what the Emperor's been doing the whole time. And that could have been Snoke. Snoke could have just been a projection. Of em- yeah. Of the Emperor. The Emperor's just running everything from behind the scenes as Snoke. He's like, you know, I learned my lesson last time. I almost got killed. My apprentice threw me over the fucking yeah. thing because I was an idiot to fry his son in front of him. I don't know why I didn't think that, that would have brought him back to the light. <laughs> You know, he's thinking, ah, you know what? I'll just kick back and create something. There's another, um, what is that called? Idiot Skywalker I can seduce, but I'll do it from behind the scenes. Just in case that little, that bastard cuts me in half, which he did, and I'll still be alive in my um, that, Death Star. That makes perfect sense. I don't think... <coughs> that's that. the only kind of sense I have. It's perfect. I, I, I think... I'm trying to agree with you here, and you just made heads just grow over there, Sean. You're not gonna have enough room for both of us to sit in these chairs. I've ne- we've never had enough room. <laughs> just on my just on my weight, just too much fat on this console. Just to play on that, I don't think Snoke was a projection. I think he was mind controlled. That too. Mind controlled because I mean he died. I mean you saw the it, the body was there, it died, and it was it, that makes perfect sense in the way because she tried to do the same moves Luke did, and Snoke stopped it. You know what I mean? Like you saw that, like she's trying to like do everything. He like stopped everything. All the things that Luke tried to do to the, the Emperor. Like he, she, he, she wasn't able to catch everything. She caught him doing it. It, it makes sense because he's seen this happen before. I mean, I like that. No, I, that I, think, it's, it's, I, I think, think it's. I think Emperor. That was Snoke was the Emperor <coughs> the whole like the whole time. Yeah, it's a perfect prediction. Uh, you know, that, so I, I, I can see that going. Mine's a little different. I, I don't think Palpatine will return. I think they're not lying, but they're misdirecting like they did before on the other trailers. I think he's just a flashback. Um, do I want to see the uh, Emperor back? Not really. Um, I like him, but I, I really feel the Emperor. Sh- there should have been a newer, um, deadlier, larger, bigger villain for the sequel trilogy because he Dark technically. Dark Darkings. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you watch Phantom Menace, go watch that. I mean, there's a lot of um, videos evidence, online yeah. and evidence that Jar Jar was Darth Pelagus. I was hoping this was Darth Pelagus, and <clears throat> I was hoping Snoke was going to be that, you know. And I wanted Luke to battle him off, you know. Luke and him go at it while you know that ultimate kind of like Yoda versus Sidious. Anakin versus Obi Wan. You have that kind of that mirror in the in this final chapter. That's what I would have liked to see, yeah. where it would have been Snoke and um, Luke and uh, Rey versus um, Kylo. 
I don't want Kylo to come back to the light. They've done it already. It'll be a, a Darth a, Vader yeah, thing. Yeah, a Darth Vader thing. Have her just kill his ass. If Palpatine does come back, um, I want him to be Darth Plagueis. The whole time. The whole time. Like, what is this? There's a, there's a theory online that I love. That, see, the Sith cannot become Force Ghosts. They can't. You know, that's what Obi-Wan's like. If you strike me down, I should become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Because, you know, um, learning from Qui-Gon and Yoda, they're able to transcend the physical form. Which makes you want to be part of the, right. um, what is that called? The light. Because the Sith can't. That's why they get old and the, the, the darkness, you know, takes a toll on them. They become ugly and they're worn out. So what, what, what is the actual uh, theory online is they're parasites. That's why there's a rule of two. No more. Because you teach one and you get that one up to par. And then you, like a parasite, you take over that body. Right. And the, other, and the master dies, but it gets to stay young forever. That's the only way they have immortality. There's spiritual immortality and flesh. So that's kind of cool. So if, if Palpatine returns, it's great. And he reveals that he needs another host to take over. I'm for that. Yeah, bring Palpatine back for that. But if he's just Palpatine again, <laughs> I've been staying here the whole time in this shitty fucking <laughs> Death Star. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I hope it's not that. But I hope he's there because he is Pelagius. And Pelagius was the one who knew how to cheat death. I mean, this guy could foresee everything. Why wouldn't he see his, his apprentice trying to kill him in his sleep? Yeah. Really? Seriously? I really think he's that wise. Is like he set it up. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. I'm going to transfer over. All right, I'm going to transfer over. And he transfers over. Then he kills himself. And then takes on the persona. And he would have loved Anakin. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Right? Another theory that I'm cool with is that Skywalker is no longer just a name. It becomes a title. You know, and um, it's a great Jedi. Because you have Jedi's. And you have um, the Sith, and now everything is about the balance of the Force. Yeah. And now there needs to be one person or all of that now who Force wielders have to balance. And that is because of Skywalker. So Skywalker will become no longer a name but a title. So if you're a gray user, you're now a Skywalker. I would like to see multiple uh, multiple meaning to the word to the phrase "rise of the rise of Skywalker." Mm -hmm. I would love to see something that no one's done yet. And Luke is supposed to be the one. So, yeah. I would like to see him resurrect almost. Like, take back physical form. It's like, nobody's ever done this. Like, yeah, what's up, Dad? What's up, Yoda? Obi-Wan, take a seat back. Why? There's a new sheriff in town. I'm your huckleberry. Because I can come back to life, you know, and kick the shit. Well, he was know. never strike down, <clears throat> ever. Yeah, exactly. So, It'd be cool if he projected, he faded out, then he came right back. <laughs> no, it's possible. Yeah. You know, he's just like, da -doom. oh, shit. Oh, I'm back. Uh, I'm the well, best. I'm the greatest. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know, yo, oh, yo, um, Qui Gon, don't need your help, man. <laughs> Obi -Wan, I got this already. I got this. And Obi Wan and Yoda's all pissed off. You know, kicking rocks like shit. Why couldn't we figure that out? You know, oh, because you're not a Skywalker, right? So I, I would like to see that. But yeah, I'm cool with that Palpatine thing. If as long as it's that parasite right. passing on thing, and yeah, I think I think that trailer got me in, interested again because after it did, it did after Last Jedi. Uh, I told him I was I was done. I don't want to watch I'll, this anymore. I'll wait for the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, but yeah, I'm pretty. The trailer sure. got me. I was like, it hooked me. It hooked me, and I was, I was, I can't now. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I want to see what happens. <laughs> watch this go wide. Would be completely disappointed. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with very low expectations. No, <clears throat> he said there's gonna be a lightsaber um duel or action that is that blows away any other Star Wars. I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you to that, JJ. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm hearing Star Wars and this trilogy. Except for the technically the prequels, yeah. I've not seen wars, real wars. No. The only time I've ever seen a great war and a lightsaber scene, I'll tell you, right now, is that damn the old Republic trailers. Oh my! A goodness. fucking cartoon. A cartoon. A video game. A video game, right? Game, right? The yeah. cinematic uh, video game part, right? If you Just, haven't seen that, please go check that out. All of them. You've never e seen it. The even the Fallen, the Fallen Kingdom, or yeah, even yeah. whatever they're called, Fallen Knights of the Fallen, or something. Dude, those Unbelievable. are awesome. Like. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it, but just go watch those trailers. The the fight sequences in there, the are, duels, they're the best in Star Wars history. history. Right that's what we were. Wa that's what we wanted in this. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. Well, we thank you folks for joining us this evening. See you next time.